Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Mossberg 590S 12 gauge shotgun. New for 2022, now I reviewed the 590S shockwave. A lot of people said that is awesome. You can shoot mini shells without an adapter. What Mossberg did was redesign the feed system so that it can do that. And the advantage there is that you can shoot two and three quarter inch, three inch loads, and mini shells. You could actually alternate those however you wish. But this is the 590. This is the more upgraded model. It's got a polymer M lock four end there. Synthetic stock, about a half inch butt pad, ghost ring rear sights, ramped up front sight, and a 20 inch barrel. Eight plus one, two and three quarter inch, seven plus one with the three inch magnums, and 12 plus one with the mini shells. Nice looking shotgun MSRP. I want to take a minute and talk about that, but before we do so, I've got one in the chamber, eight rounds loaded up with target loads. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and see how this does. Woo, that thing is all over the place. And that's it. The MSRP, and when I reviewed the Shockwave, the 590S Shockwave, a lot of people said, well, the MSRP is too high. Or they said, I picked up the original Shockwave for 300 bucks. Well, we have to keep in mind, that's the MSRP. Because the original Shockwave is like 550. So if you picked it up for 300 bucks, you got a great deal. But it does come with a screw and choke now this I mentioned is the upgraded model it has a screw and choke here not a fixed choke it also is available with an 18 inch barrel not as high as capacity and doesn't have the M-lock end. the mini shells are one and three quarters inch the target loads that I have in here are two and three quarters inch so I alternated them and I got nine loads in full without putting one in the chamber I mentioned the MSRP 731. I'm not sure if I said that properly, but let's go ahead and check out the difference. Very low recoil, more capacity with the mini shells. Let's see how it feeds, being that they redesigned the feeding system. Mini. And that's it. Nine loads alternated. And they all fed, fired, and ejected really well. I like the ghost ring sight that they add on there. The 18 and a half inch barrel does not have that. It has a beaded front sight as well. This has a ramped with an orange insert in there. But it, it's pretty nice. I have to say, I don't have anything against it. It does have the, the uh, safety up on top of the receiver. Nice trigger pull, nice feed action, nice smooth forend. And I do also like that they have screw in chokes with this model. It would be nice if they added a couple others. My favorite is a modified. But let's go ahead and load up some slugs and see how they do. Here we have American Whitetail, one ounce, rifled slugs, two and three quarter inch loads. I am not going to shoot at my target there, but I will shoot. This is a, a huge pit here, and there are berms everywhere. Extremely safe to shoot straight ahead. We can check it out and see what you think. I notice I did not do this with my shockwave review. Uh-oh, what happened? Okay, the primer did hit. Let's try it again. And what's going on there? I'm gonna let that one go. And that should be it. Not exactly sure what happened there. Shot three out of the five. Let me go ahead and load up some high velocity seven and a half inch 
uh, Fiocchi two or three quarter inch loads. Uh, that was the first hang up I've had with either this or the 590S shockwave. Here are six shots of Fiocchi high velocity, seven and a half shot bird loads. I actually already shot it, but forgot to put the camera on. 12 degrees out here. Brain's going numb. So are the fingers. But let's see how it does. All right, no problems there. Let me th throw those two slugs back in there and see what happens. Not sure the camera will pick that up, but both of these primers were struck. So let's see what happens. I'll put them back in there. We'll try a second time. Once again, I'm going over here, not toward my target. And no problem that time. Could be new gun syndrome. Let me turn the camera around and we'll take a few more shots. What I decided to do was start out with two and three quarter inch and then alternate like I did earlier, but I want you to see the difference of recoil because right around now, my shoulder is getting a bit sore. So the mini shells are a welcome addition. Here's two or three quarter inch target loads. The mini shells are buckshot. Mini shell, like nothing. What happened? That was a mini shell. All right. So there it is, the new Mossberg 590S. Overall, great performance at the range. I did have a couple light primer strikes. Not sure if that's a new thing or if it will persist. If it does, I will definitely be sending this back to Mossberg, but I do like the shotgun. I like what they've done with it. I like the adaptability of mini shells, and I like the idea that it holds eight plus one which is really nice. And the M-Lock handguard, or forehand, is nice. I guess it's a handguard, not a shotgun. But overall, nice package, and performed. I'd give it a, a solid 85% outside of those light primer strikes. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.